bumblebee time bumblebee time this is my um little sample that is a absolute mess now he's got poor little dude he's got a broken antenna and like legs missing arms no hand um and his little wings are made out of rice paper we're gonna do that and actually he was at he kind of sunk down and originally when I did it I just used roll fondant by itself and it was too soft so he was just starting to sink on me. So what I did is I took, um, this is just the same pink fondant, but I took Tylose powder which is an ingredient for the roll fondant and I sprinkled it in the Tylose powder. Um, I do like one teaspoon per, they say one teaspoon per like a pound would be good but I actually do like a teaspoon per like half a pound or so. I just sprinkle it in. I, I, to be totally honest, I don't, I don't measure it, but if you want some kind of idea, like a teaspoon per half a pound is what I like to use. And it's best if you can um, knead it in completely, and then uh, it's best if you can use the fondant, wrap it up really well, and use it the next day. It's a lot firmer. See, this is like, ooh, hard as a rock. Okay, so for the little bim bumblebee, um, this is going to be the little dude, and we'll have a little girl too. Um, we need a couple sections for the body, so there's two sections here. So to start, we'll just take a ball of fondant, maybe like gumball size. We'll actually do two balls that are the same size. We'll do them at the same time. This one might be a little bigger, so I'll just take a little off. Okay, all right, so I've got two here. The bigger, this one still looks slightly bigger, but that's okay, I'll use that one for the the middle part of the body. This one, I'll go ahead and just knead it up one more time, roll it back into a ball, take my hands in a V-shape, open V-shape. When I say open V-shape, see the bottom of my hands are about a quarter of an inch apart. Um, and then what I do, drop the ball down and roll back and forth and you'll get more of a teardrop kind of shape going like this. I want it to be a little bit more pointy at the end, so I just take my hands and just kind of make it a little bit more pointy down there at the end. And then just kind of sit this, I'll do it so you can see, at, or maybe side view would be best, at an angle like this. Then the next piece of the body goes on just like this. We'll use a little bit of water in there to attach it. Just about like that. And then we're going to use some red fondant. The red you can also add Tylos to. I didn't. Um, the main thing that I wanted the Tylos for was to uh, support the rest of the weight of the fondant going on top, but since, since the red was up on top, um, I didn't feel it was necessary to use it. So this one, slightly smaller than the, the body. That one looks a little too small. When I say slightly smaller, I mean, you know, almost the same size. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take a piece of spaghetti and insert it through the body all the way until I hit it, um, feel it touch the table and snap it off about a half an inch up. And take this ball and then I just kind of roll it once or twice this way to get a little bit more of an oval type shape and then place it over the spaghetti. You can also take a little bit of water and pop it behind there. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Okay, all right. So this is the start of our little bumblebee. Then we'll take some more red and we'll do the little stripes in the back. We're going to do it in fondant. You could also do it in either buttercream or royal icing, piping it. If you pipe it, then you could use, uh, say, like either a number two or another number three tip. And actually, if I do a bigger piece and do it all at once, I can cut all the stripes out of it.